today we are going to Miami Beach from Logan City where we stay and this is interesting this morning we went to for a walk and early morning and we just saw the kangaroo on the way back from our morning walk and it was really refreshing So we're doing um, a freeway trip on, uh, on the Gold Coast Freeway and we're done driving around 50 k's and we're averaging around, traffic's heavy so we're averaging around 100 kilometers an hour with the air conditioning on at 30 degrees we're using 15 watt hours per kilometer I think it says kilowatt hours per 100 k's so 14.915. Okay, so someone asked about using the lane departure uh, cruise con autonomous cruise control settings. So I'm just going to use it now on the freeway. And I'm going to demonstrate autonomous cruise control. First of all, we press the set button. And it says ACC is on. And then we're going to set, then we're going to set the, the uh, speed. So we go, we're already, it's default's 30k, so we don't want that. So we're at 96. So if we go press down on the toggle for set minus, it automatically sets the speed of what you're at. So now it's at 92, and then it goes up in five kilometer increments if you want to go faster by pressing up. So we just take it up to 95. To 100, so cruising at 100 feet off the accelerator, and hands off the wheel, and off we go on a on a on a, on a freeway. It's really good. Uh, I have used it on a I have used it on a 45 degree turn. <laughs> it didn't like it. It just put the brakes on because it it uh, yeah. So the radar didn't didn't um, didn't like the turn. So yeah, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. So, so it's going. So, so it stays on the freeway. It's probably the best. It's, it's about fifty. Yeah, it's just putting the brakes on now because the cars in front are braking. We're down to 70, 70 kilometers an hour, even though we're set at one hundred. Um, the bad part is when you change lanes, it takes a while to pick up. So if I'm just going to change lanes now to the faster lane and because it's close, I'm close to the car in front, it doesn't like it and now it's going to take off. You can also change the distance from the car in front. So on the screen, I guess that's two and this is the one, I, one, one bar which is the closest you can get. So now we're sitting probably 15 metres from the car in front. On the, this is the closest setting. So I did try drafting at this setting and I didn't really notice any difference behind trucks. So yeah, I was kind of hoping that would reduce my range, but yeah, but I'll try again when we go back to Sydney for 50 Ks and we'll do another test of drafting. So, so normally it keeps you within 50 centimeters of the, of the middle of the, the lane. So, and it gives you around 10 seconds, 1,000, 2,000, yeah, 10 seconds before you have to touch the wheel again or you can just hold your hand, hand on the wheel lightly and it's happy with that. It's very relaxing and uh, yeah, I'm sure the driver fatigue factor will be a lot lower because you don't have to do anything. You just, all you gotta do is hold the wheel with two fingers and the car does the rest, so it's a pretty easy, easy way to drive. This is this is surface paradise on the Gold Coast. And we're going to going for lunch. 
Okay, so we're, looking, we're heading out for lunch in Broad Breach at Surface Paradise. And it looks like a lot of new buildings are going up, always new buildings. So we're gonna try and find our restaurant, Thai restaurant. Coming close to the beach, yeah, the buildings and the trees, we can find the restaurant. We are almost there to find the paradise. Here we are, Serpent's Paradise, up the Gold Coast. It's a really nice buildings in the background. Really nice sand today. It used to be good for surfing, which is why it was called Serpent's Paradise, but not too many surfers today. Obviously they've found better places to go. Sorry about the wind, but it's kind of windy today. 